Once upon a time in a small village nestled amidst towering mountains, there lived a wise and revered Zen master named Akira. People from far and wide sought his guidance and wisdom. They would travel great distances to spend time in his humble presence, hoping to discover the secrets of inner peace and enlightenment. One day, a young and ambitious traveler named Hiroshi arrived at the village. Hiroshi had heard stories of Akira's profound wisdom and was determined to learn from him. Eager to embark on his spiritual journey, Hiroshi made his way to the Zen master's dwelling. As Hiroshi entered the simple, tranquil abode, he found Akira sitting peacefully in meditation. The room was adorned with minimal furnishings, a low wooden table, a floor cushion, and a single candle casting a gentle glow. The atmosphere exuded a sense of serenity. Patiently, Hiroshi waited until Akira emerged from his meditation. With a serene smile, the Zen master welcomed him and invited him to sit. Master Akira, Hiroshi began, I am here to learn the art of being present. I've spent my life chasing after success and achievements, yet I feel a void within me. I yearn for inner peace and contentment. How can I attain this elusive state? Akira's eyes sparkled with wisdom as he responded, Young Hiroshi, the art of being present is indeed a precious path to inner peace. But remember, it is not a destination to be reached, it is a continuous journey of mindfulness and awareness. Intrigued, Hiroshi leaned forward, eager to absorb the master's teachings. Akira continued, to be present means to fully immerse oneself in the present moment, embracing it without judgment or attachment to the past or future. It is a state of deep connection with the world around us and the unfolding of each passing second. The young traveler nodded, captivated by the concept. Akira reached for a small teapot and began pouring tea into two delicate cups. Hiroshi observed the master's graceful movements, intrigued by the simplicity and mindfulness with which he performed the task. As you sip this tea, Akira said, offering Hiroshi a cup, be fully present. Engage your senses. Feel the warmth of the porcelain against your palms. Inhale the delicate aroma. Taste each sip as if it were the first and only taste you will ever experience. Hiroshi took a sip, following Akira's guidance. As the flavors danced upon his tongue, he realized how often he had mindlessly consumed meals and drinks, never truly savoring the present moment. Being present is not limited to a specific activity, Akira explained. It is a way of life. When you walk, be aware of each step connecting you to the earth. When you listen, truly listen, without the constant chatter of your thoughts. When you engage in conversation, give your undivided attention to the person before you. Embrace the beauty and simplicity of the present moment, for it is the only moment that truly exists. Days turned into weeks, and Hiroshi continued to immerse himself in Akira's teachings. Gradually, he began to let go of his incessant worries about the future and regrets about the past. He discovered the profound joy of being fully present in each moment, embracing life's simplest pleasures with gratitude and a newfound sense of purpose. With a heart full of gratitude, Hiroshi bid farewell to the Zen master, carrying the art of being present within him wherever he went. Years passed, and Hiroshi became a wise teacher in his own right, sharing the invaluable teachings of Akira with others who sought a path of mindfulness and inner peace. He would often say, the art of being present is not a destination but a perpetual journey. As we learn to embrace each passing moment, we find the true essence of life and discover that all we need is already within us.